on everybody this vlog is starting a little bit of late today uh, it's 6 30 at 6 30 p.m. woke up a little late today uh, we got some recording done I didn't get any footage of that uh, I'm a little behind on this vlog stuff uh, really not a too crazy of a day we got some recording done I'm actually going back to edit right now one of the things that's going to be released today uh, and then, uh, yeah, and then uh, I'm probably going to head to the, well, not probably, I'm going to got to head to the gym. That'll probably be a little later tonight, uh, possibly do some, uh, maybe some games, we'll see. Depends what we were debating about doing a little bit later. So, yeah, that's kind of what the day is looking like today. Uh, we'll see what happens, if there's anything interesting going on or anything like that. Thank you, Richard McDonald's. How can I help you? Yeah, can I get a large iced coffee, just uh, black, but can you make sure it's about quarter empty? Okay. And that's about it. Okay, so I'll go and speak to you 47 at the first window. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So, I don't go to McDonald's to get their food because that's terrible for you. But I do go to McDonald's to get their iced coffee because sometimes either I don't have coffee to make or I'm too lazy and this is more convenient on the way. Do you want this much coffee? Yeah. Okay. I know, weird request. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. But as I was saying, uh, yeah, I just ordered their coffee. I don't need their food. Although, I don't care who you are. Uh, listen, I love working out. I love eating healthy. But those fries, when you smell them, man, does it give you a craving for those fries. But no, I, uh, I normally just do the coffee. Uh, like as I was saying, it's because either I'm too lazy to do it, it's this is more convenient, or I don't have coffee to make at home and I don't feel like going go shopping so the reason I ordered it the way I did was because I get to put in my own skim milk and sweetener that I want so if I ask them to leave a little bit of room I can put the amount of milk that I want and so uh, that's why I ordered that the way it is I am currently ren well not rendering editing and then rendering our um, review of Daredevil season two so that should be up actually be oh, you should have already seen that up it'll be up before this is up so you should have already probably seen that um, if not check it out uh, if you have not watched it don't check it out because there are some spoilers in it um, yeah so we're gonna be doing that I will be I gotta go grab some stuff from the store so we'll probably go a little later to pick some stuff up or at least I will be I like going at night because then I don't have to deal with people and I don't like dealing with people does that make sense it's not that I'm anti-social I just the least crowded it is so I can just go in and get out the better it is for me but yeah so that's what I'm doing right now I'm uh, I'm editing that and it actually gave me a little bit of an idea I want to put in something in this vlog so I will be doing that in a moment here all right just got done this one is let's see if we can zoom in on that there we go it's uploading so that one's uploading I figured this next part of the video I show you what I used or essentially the items I used to uh, record uh, basically the whole thing not basically the whole thing of the trip that I took the hiking trip so I figure I show you guys a little go over the stuff I used and then of course from there um, just kind of give you my ideas on how you know what you would need and stuff like that so this is the equipment that I used to record that trip I don't have a good table to put all this on, so we're going to use the floor here. Um, so this is basically it. Uh, first, let's go over the bag. The bag is just a High Sierra backpack. Nothing major. It holds up to a 15-inch uh, 
uh, laptop. I did not have a laptop in there, but it does. It has a rear pocket for it. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, stuff basically you can put in there. I had a, a microfiber cloth, uh, cleaning cloth, so that way just in case I need to clean a lens or anything like that. Uh, I had some cables, my headphones, and then that's basically about it. That's what I had with me. That's where I carried my bag and stuff like that. And I got some essentials in here like a knife, um, a blanket just in case if something happened while you were hiking. This way you were ready. So that's what I used for a bag. Nothing crazy. You don't need anything extreme. Um, you know, obviously a backpack that has container or uh, compartments that can um, house a DSLR better would be obviously uh, kind of a better option but for hiking you probably don't want to use those because they're not usually water resistant or anything like that so I use this and it did what it needed to do uh, then of course as always I am using my Canon 70D camera with the Canon lens that's the 18 we can see it right there it's the 18 to 55 millimeter lens and it does have auto focus I can switch it between auto or manual and then video stabilizer as well which is good and this is the newest edition this was the GoPro uh, Hero 4 session which you guys saw in the video can we zoom in on that can we zoom in on that can we zoom in on that I guess we can zoom in on that there we go, kind of. Hero 4 Session. It is the new addition to my uh, camera equipment. It's 200 bucks, and it's worth it. Automatically, out of the box, you don't need any extra housing. This thing on its own is waterproof, up to 10 meters, which is perfect if you're jumping in the pool, like I showed you guys in the second part of that vlog. And then, uh, you know, if you've got, like, waterfalls, or even if it's raining, you can still be recording and not worry about using this. Batteries around two hours, so the battery will drain fairly quickly, especially if you're going on, like, a three-hour hike or something but regardless this is it, it's worth it it's I would recommend this if you're looking for a GoPro but you don't want to spend the four or five hundred dollars that the uh, Hero Black 4 is then go with the session it's worth it they did a good job um, making this this is definitely worth it the only problem with it is you can't uh, replace the battery from what I can tell uh, and you can't attach a screen to it or anything like that but otherwise it really doesn't matter it, it's it's perfect I would go with it and then this right here are actually uh, it's from newer and I will link all this by the way in the description but it's from newer and it's basically full of GoPro gear uh, accessories should I say it was like 33 bucks and it's worth every penny and I haven't even used anywhere near a, a quarter of it this is a floaty thing if you jump in the water and let's say it slips out of your hand the camera will float to the top uh, you got body harness head harness a bunch of ones that you can attach to bikes and stuff like that you can a car mount you have a bunch in here for like stick-ons um, yeah essentially just additional mounts that you get with it and a bunch of mounts that give you double-sided sticky tape so you can permanently attach it to something it's it's worth it for the 33 bucks plus you get this nice carrying case which is awesome um, and it's just it's it's essentially I mean it's it's perfect if you get a if you get a GoPro pick this thing up it's way less the money than anything else and uh, um, you get everything you need with it and it's it's worth it to be honest and then one final thing which I'll switch cameras here right now and final thing now I'm using the DSLR is your phone uh, this is a Samsung Note 4 and honestly if you have a Samsung phone that's after the Galaxy if it's the Galaxy S4 or later or if it's the Note 3 or later you have a phenomenal phenomenal both back and front camera that you can use to record a bunch of vlog stuff and honestly usually for vlogging and like quick on the go clips that I want to record it's my go-to and it's worth it 
uh, I couldn't honestly, and, and obviously Samsung isn't the only one, it's just that the Samsungs do since the S4 have had great cameras and it's really one of the biggest things they're known for. Um, obviously LG with its V10 now has a pretty good camera and there's a bunch of other ones out there that have it but honestly these these phones have such great cameras that it's there's really no reason not to use that and this just essentially I mean that's pretty much it that shows you that you don't need to spend a lot of money on gear to have let me turn this around let me let me let me get a little more personal this shows you that you don't need to spend a lot of money on gear to have a good recording of what you want to do right um, the GoPro is only 200 and if you have a phone that has a good camera on it you're set the DSLR that I'm using right now yeah that's a nice option but if you don't have the money to purchase one of these which they do run about 12 13 hundred bucks you don't have to if you use the GoPro and you use the phone between those two you should be able to get a lot of fun footage and put it together so yeah I just figured I'd show you guys what I've used alright it is 12.49 a.m. time to go grocery shopping I wasn't kidding I just want to go in and leave and not deal with anybody so let's do this <laughs> sweet tooth then you don't know what I'm talking about but a person like me that has a sweet tooth you pass these kind of aisles it's almost impossible to resist but you got to keep moving I'm not buying those for me those are actually for somebody else I wouldn't do that to myself especially when I'm trying to stay on a diet snack before the workout even though carrots aren't really anything you would take before the workout but it's just I was getting hungry and I wanted just to do a little snack yeah All right. 2 a.m. time to go work out super tired if you can see by the clock it's past 4 a.m. Um, super super tired I don't even know how I finished that workout just getting my protein and some cottage cheese before I go to bed I'll, I'll probably stay up for another 30 minutes after I eat that and that's it so thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it please hit the like button make sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one.